Okay, so uh, what if there's a lack of clarity and what and uh, one doesn't know what to do, and um, uh, you can be the observer of your thoughts and uh, the seeming problem, and then in the observing position, there is no, there is nothing that needs to be done. Everything's okay, but there seems to be. Uh, a pressing problem or reasonably pressing problem that needs some kind of resolution. Um, so, you know, what would I do? Um, I could, you know, there, there, there are what I call, you know, big, uh, big issues like what direction do I go into in life? And there are issues like, uh, it seems like I have to make a mortgage payment by the end of this month, or I'm getting letters that I'll be turfed out of the, the, the property. So, um, now, uh, a few things with it. I mean, now, if, if there is an area in which I have a, I want to make, there seems to be a problem and I want to make a decision or an action, then that's more, that, that gives me a lot of, I mean, then what I would do, let's say it's a financial problem or a relationship problem, then I would uh, uh, cancel and transcend the data that's in that area, like, if it's a mortgage payment problem, then I'd be doing things like the bank account, fear of money, uh, cancelling my beliefs, surrendering those things around money, surrendering uh, my idea that God's not going to handle it, surrendering it that my ego has to handle it, um, so, uh, you know, surrendering a lack of uh, trust or uh, doubt, all of those things um, uh, to be because it's in the area of money and finances in a future event. So I need to transcend that. What do I cancel and um, what do I hand over to God? Like I surrender to God my mortgage payment at the end of this month um, uh, into God's infinite light and love and I pray for miracles and transcendence, for example. Or um, God did not create uh, any ability to uh, pay the mortgage at the end of the month, so it's not real. Now, Hawkins illustrated, you know, you have to sort of see uh, the resolution of a problem will depend on when, when um, my level of consciousness or how close am I uh, connected to the infinite realm. Um, am I very far away? Am I in a lot of sort of self-centered thinking and fear and feel a lot of terror? Then um, that's a, a, a very deep, you know, low level of ego consciousness. And generally, um, the thing is, it's like a magnet or an attractor field. Um, when there's a lot of fear and a lot of thinking, one is blocked off from grace, miracles, from the light, from the infinite help that's available. In, in, um, so uh, that, that fear and that thinking, obsessive thinking, it, it blocks the miracle. It blocks help. Now, to the, so to what extent, I mean, if, I mean, you don't have to go all the way up into bliss, but um, to the extent you can remove the negative emotions and the negative thoughts and go up the levels of consciousness, to that extent, um, it'll seem more help from within and from without in, in the world will seem to come to your aid. Or if you raise your consciousness, then even if the problem still hits, it'll be muted. It'll be like there's some level of protection. And if you go right into hand it over like 100%, um, and you're sort of blissed out and forgot you had a problem or have to do anything or make a choice, then in my experience, well, of course, the thing, of course, you could say, well, there is no problem. I'm, I'm blissed. I'm blissed out now and I can't even think. So there isn't a problem. But what my experience is, even though this sounds dualistic, is the if you remember the problem, you'll find that it will be miraculously resolved. That's my experience. So it's like without me doing an action or something, it's like the, the problem seems to be have been removed. So now that's maybe, um, that's probably, um, so that's my experience, you know, so it is my, the way I do it. Now, the, you know, the, the th tools I use are threefold. One is the Course in Miracles, uh, cancelling beliefs, God did not create it. I surrender to God, I, sur I surrender to God this thing uh, into, uh, I surrender uh, and I pray for uh, forgiveness, transcendence and miracles, for example. Um, and I keep doing that over maybe hundreds of times of the whole day, uh, because I know that 
is like a belief, is a fear-rooted uh, belief or thought that I need to get my level of consciousness up ASAP. And I'm quite lazy. I'd rather not take action in the world. I'd rather the miracle happen. So, so I tend to, I'm not saying that's the case for everyone else. Sometimes you may want to take more action and be practical. And I'm not saying anything about that. My tendency is I'd rather God handle it <laughs> and just sort of sit on my seat and just pray like a lunatic or just go to the observer or, or just let go of my thoughts and just feel any, any sensations or feelings out. Uh, and and I'm, what I'm trying to do is transcend or disappear that I have a problem and trust God will handle it. And always God does. Now that may not be very practical if you've got an imminent problem. Uh, the way I handle imminent problems like a, a rent, a money, a money thing or a confrontation with an individual is um, if I have like, let's say tomorrow there's a major chat with um, a difficult conversation I know is coming up. I've only got one day and I've got a lot of fear and a lot of thinking around it. Then um, I will do whatever I can to transcend that as much as possible. So as to raise my consciousness so that when the event see I'm thinking that the event will arrive, my consciousness is at least as high as possible to meet it. Um, and uh, the types of things I'll do, I might listen to Dave, uh, a David Hawkins audio on Audible, um, or I might um, sit, now if there's fear, I could, even though I haven't done this for a while, because I've not had intense emotions for a long time, is just sit down, like uh, Hawk, Dr. Hawkins' letting go process, sit down, let go of labeling that there's a story, let go of identifying with thoughts. And if there's any feelings or energies there, vibrations, be with them until they disappear. And as the fear or the thought or the sensations disappear, also the thoughts disappear at the same time because you're going up the levels of consciousness. So, um, uh, so I, could, I might pray like a lunatic, I might feel like a lunatic, or I might observe or, or uh, watch a teacher on how to be in the witnessing state so um you know there's many youtube videos even i have youtube videos they're called the observer tool if you go to my youtube channel and just put observer tool severe muslim you'll get me just talking about how you know guiding you are you the thoughts are you the witnesser of the thoughts are you the body or are you the observer of the body if are you a feeling like fear or what observes fear coming and going in this what you're doing is you're releasing the ego identification with, uh, with fear, with thoughts, with story, with personal self. And you're going off into the infinite realm. Your level of consciousness, as you're starting to dissolve, break the attachments to thought, feelings, uh, and this world, your level of consciousness is increasing. And now there is the opportunity for grace, the miraculous, to be invited in. Um, and, or if not, at least the level of consciousness will increase. So suddenly it's like, what if my level of consciousness increases and suddenly hey this is not a big problem it's going to be handled there's nothing to worry about so already it seems the thoughts are no longer fear-based but more trusting or uh or even may disappear if i'm lucky and just uh, and just totally dissolve and don't come back so in my experience it's like my vibration the amount of fear and thinking i have or seeing a problem in the world um, actually, if I'm in a lot of fear and a lot of thinking and, and I'm going over, oh, this problem's happening. Um, my experience is usually it does come and it happens badly. Uh, it seems to happen badly. If, I'm, uh, if I go to a, a reasonable good con level of consciousness, then usually it might arrive, the thing I've, I've been afraid of, but it usually gets handled relatively okay with a little bit of battering. Uh, and if I transcend it, uh, are going to a, a sort of an infinite state of trust and peace and presence, then uh, always the problem doesn't happen. Uh, am I saying the truth? Well, it seems like when I transcend it I, to my to my knowingness right now, that it hasn't hit me when I go off into a really good state. It seems like it, it's somehow handled without uh, by the miraculous means. Um, so. Um, do I always have enough time or do I always transcend things? Um, not always, but sometimes. And that's when the miraculous happens. Um, so in terms of life direction or like an overall life direction, um, I would, um, I mean, there could be something different, like you don't know what to do, but that's not the question, I think. Like what, what direction should I go? Well, then I would keep praying and, and handing it over. 
Um, also, you can, oh, there is another thing, of course, I mean, the usual ones. Um, I, I, I pray to the Holy Spirit to see what direction I should go in life and see this in truth and then try and let it go. I'll just keep saying, uh, Holy Spirit, um, uh, God, uh, help me to see this in truth or impress upon my mind uh, an intuition or right thought or action as to what needs to happen next. So I could do the, uh, the call to the infinite for some thought or, or prompt as to what's the next thing to be done. Oh, the other thing, of course, is um, uh, I really recommend this. I mean, I go to a lot of spiritual groups, um, is um, speak to fellows uh, and go to spiritual groups and share it and see what comes back. Because often in the power, you see, what happens is if you're alone with the problem and if you share it to another person who's spiritually aligned or in, even better in a huge spiritual group where you've got a lot of uh, spiritual heavyweights like some of the groups I go to then uh, often the miraculous comes in because you've got all the all this uh, wisdom and love uh, that combines into a, a field of love in the group and so quite often things shift even faster in group energies so like of course the miracle groups enlightenment groups Hawkins groups 12-step uh, groups great way to get to a higher vibration easily uh, leveraging the group energy as opposed to just trying to transcend it alone in your room. Even though now we have Zoom, so you could do two groups in your room. Uh, okay, I'll stop there.